It was a realistic bioterrorism drill that brought thousands of volunteers into play in the role of victims and patients. The most graphic part of the drill took place at March Air Reserve Base near Riverside. In this scenario, a terrorist has infected unknown number of people with a virus of some sort. There is a police chase. A school bus is chased onto the property here at March Air Reserve Base. And as you can see behind me, the bus overturns. There's a fatality and several major injuries. Air Force Major Donald Trout tells News 27 this mock attack is about as realistic as they come. The scenario was is that terrorists were manufacturing an influenza virus uh, here in the county and uh, the virus got away from them, they became infected, uh, they became excited so they hijacked the bus that's behind us and uh, the police were in pursuit of them and the bus rolled over. Major Trod says between now and Friday, some 15 Riverside County hospitals and clinics will have treated patients infected in this mock pandemic of supposedly coming into contact with the genetically engineered strain of influenza. The announced goal of this disaster drill, well, it's testing the capability of handling large numbers of victims. There's a variety of agencies that are involved in here from uh, Riverside County Public Health, to uh, the sheriff's department, uh, local hospitals. Everybody is testing their emergency uh, procedures today. This was the second such exercise for Riverside County after a simulated plague two years ago that exposed communication shortcomings and long waits for needed medications. It's a scenario that could happen. That's why we're practicing for this. Some 3,000 people volunteered to play the role of victims in this, also to help put on this mock disaster. Uh, cost of doing all this, $300,000. Have we learned something from this? In case we have the real thing, of course we have. Reporting from March Air Reserve Base with photojournalist Paul Sirbu, Bill Lauren, News 27.